Danielle Hale. As class advisor, it is my honor to introduce the salutatorian of the class of 2019, Michael Schlecky. our superintendent, Mr. Ben David, assistant superintendent, Mr. Vaughn, building official, Mr. Reimer, administration members, our beloved faculty, friends, family, and classmates, all of whom were here to share the moment with the Westmore Essential class of 2019 graduates. I'm beyond honored to speak in front of all my graduating classmates and their guests here today. To begin, fellow graduates, I'd like to ask you all a question, one that you've been asked more times than you care to remember. What would you like to be when you grow up? Now, I know many of you already consider ourselves to be grown up, but stay in that thought for a moment. In the next 20 years, where would you like to be? And where do you think you will actually be? When I was in fourth grade, the answer was crystal clear to me. I remember telling my parents that I was destined to be a weather man on television. Without a clue as to the science that went behind it, I endlessly gazed, hours upon hours, at the Weather Channel, knowing that one day, I would also be on television, showing the radar, and totally messing up tomorrow's forecast. <laughs> but why was I so certain, at the age of nine, that I would become a weatherman? At such a young age, life appears to be a linear trust. When we are asked such a question, we are only stating our end goal. At times, that end goal is so far away that we can't even imagine how we will get there. A straight line between point A and point B on the path that we call life. So instead, let me ask the question, what would you like to be doing tomorrow? For many of you, that's an easier question. Maybe you'll want to spend time with your family and go to the beach. Maybe you want to spend time with friends and go see a movie. Maybe you want some time to yourself and binge watch movies on Netflix. But the real question I'm asking you is what will you be doing tomorrow to help you reach your end goal in 20 years? Tomorrow, I may not be tracking the nearest thunderstorm or watching the Weather Channel because that dream has changed. Whether it was because the new webpage for weather.com is impossible to navigate or because along the way I developed other interests, I am not sure. But from tomorrow to the year 2039, I will not be on the path to become a weatherman. What will you be doing between tomorrow and your end goal? This is the hardest question I will ask you all today. 